we'll start with Mesa, a little announcement. If anybody is blocking the car park outside, if you can move your car today, we'd be very grateful. Anybody blocking the car park outside, please remove your car. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, B. An Ong, B. Lin Ong, Malaysia. On my left, Selena P. Efja Muskens, Netherlands. Efja Muskens to serve, to B. An Ong. Play. Very welcome back after a short break, allowing Selena Peak to recover in time. We've now reached the second match on finals day here at the 2013 Carlton Irish Open, 100 consecutive edition of the Irish Open. It's women's doubles. And Selena, as I said, back in court, number four seed here alongside Afia Mushkins. Against the number two seed Malaysian pairing, the sisters Ng. Lin and Ern Lin serving, the older of the Malaysian sisters. A little bit of history between these two, of course. Recent history, more to the point. The Dutch victorious over the Malaysians at the Scottish Open two weeks ago in three tight sets. And before that, the Grand Prix Gold, Bitburger Open, and Saarbrücken winning in two sets on that occasion. Dutch beat top-seeded American Perry, Vili, and Paula Lynn Obanana in the semi-final. really have come through comfortably all the way to this final two set wins all the way and the most have dropped in any one game is 13 points the Ying sisters had a tough three set battle against Imogen Bankier and Kirsty Gilmore in yesterday's semi-final but up to that as convincing as the Dutch girls very very difficult to call but certainly on the balance of form Dutch might be slight favourites, certainly the Dutch have a little more variety in their attack, which just could be the difference between success and failure here at this Carton Irish Open Finals. But as we know, Selena fresh back on court after her victory in the mixed doubles alongside Jaco Arendt. So only time will tell if that is a factor, whether it's confidence gained from that victory manifests itself in this women's doubles or will fatigue set in at some point for Selena after going the full distance with Blair and Bankier in the mixed doubles. Great brush from Lynn. Malaysian sisters, of course, based in England, Loughborough University. Will be motivated to win this title after two consecutive final defeats to the Dutch in recent weeks. Four, six. Of the 
angle cross court from Ern. Clip cross court. If you just landing out. Guys, initially on the punch clear from Lynn. Six, all. in a row for the Malaysians. The younger of the Ing sisters serving. <laughs> Great serve. Eight, Finishing it off the third point in the rally. Backhand from Lynn. Out, service over. Nine, seven. Eight, yeah. Getting a little Eight, bit of the look of the Irish. Shuttle clipping the net cord, falling over. For the winner. Nine, all. Well, he's quite short to start in this women's doubles final. I mean the variety from Selena Peak from the rear court Ten, on the attack nine. with very precise drops. Oh. And the Malaysians failing to control the lift. Clear tactic from the Dutch. Oh. Drops from Selena. Ten all. Out, service over. Eleven ten, interval. Serve. Dropping short of the service line. So it's a slender as one point advantage. Mushkins and Peak. Harley Towler doing the coaching the Malaysian side of the court. As always, Dutch flying solo. down the middle from Selena Peak. Again, 
great variation from the Dutch. This time is Mushkins from the rear court. points down against Blair or against Bankier and Gilmore in yesterday's semi final. <laughs> Certainly know how to win and know how to do it from behind. Ship from Selena. Little shout before the shuttle hit the line, trying to influence the line judge. A good call again. The line judge. This time, Ern struggling with her length. That one a long way out over the baseline. Previous rally, yet again, yet again, Earn failing to control the length. Fifteen, thirteen. Quick serve and peak to Lynn. Very quick footwork. And the taller of the two Malaysian sisters. Accurate smash cross court for the winner. A lazy drop this time from Selena. Then the interception for the winner from Peak. Large round of applause from the crowd. In. Oh yes, 
That's a good example of turning defense into attack from the Dutch. 's of rackets and the sisters both of them I'm sure will take a look at the frames to see if there any damage yeah you can see everything seems to be in order it's a nice run of points for the Dutch four in a row healthy lead at 1916. Her pull drop shot. Okay. Power in the right arm. From Ern, really. 19. Not much Selena Peak could do that. Do about that. Easy for Mushkins. And that's the first game to the Dutch, 21-17. And really, not much between both pairs. But in the end, a run of four points. From 15 to 19, 16 ahead, really doing the damage for the Dutch. Gentle little net shot from Mushkins take the match it's the Dutch who have the advantage one set to nil this women's doubles final the Carlton Irish Open to one side we see our Minister for Sport here in Ireland just arrived in the hall Delighted to have Leo Varadkar here enjoying what is really top class finals, levels and standard of play here at the Carlton Irish Open. Good anticipation. Peak so very like Bankier in that respect. So good at reading the game and anticipating what's coming over the net. Again, Mushkin's hunting the net. Strong an attack. Fist pump from Peak. The Dutch instantly into a two love lead.
three, one. Slightly wild from F yet. Oh, the backhand from Peak. World class. The great work from A.F.U. Mushkins. A little bit of flair from the blonde Dutch woman. Change of tactic with the flick serve and getting the look at the net. Well left. Oh, it landed in. My mistake. Thought it was short. Just clipping the line from the serve of Mushkins. Ah, oh, that's good vision. Caught a little bit flat-footed at the rear court. If Mushkin's expecting, expecting her partner to come forward and cover the space down her backhand side. Patient attack this time from Selena Peak. Quite happy to build Seven, the momentum three. in the rally and wait patiently for the opportunity, eventually on the air from the Malaysians. Intelligent rally this time from both Mushkins and Peak. Getting control of the net, forcing the lift from the Malaysians. Players of this quality. It's hit. That's a nice return. Four, nine. And the attack now relentless from the Dutch and the Malaysians slowly starting to run out of options. So 11 4 and already one set of the good things, certainly looking promising for the Dutch.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Thirteen four. Thirteen four and really it's the Dutch who have grasped this final as we say here in Ireland by the scruff of the neck. Selena Peak going for her second victory, of course, after winning the mixed doubles earlier. This is where the Dutch really need to be concentrated because uh, there is a tendency from Selena certainly to switch off at times when she has commanding leads. The serve from the Malaysian certainly there to be attacked by Peak. This is the problem I feel with the Malaysian pair. It's all or nothing on the attack. It's very, the attack sometimes gets very one-dimensional, pure raw power. But the Dutch have the ability to really put a lot of variety in the attack and keep their opponents guessing. A ten point lead now, it's certainly a finishing line within sight. The Dutch in white. Block backhand peak and then going on the attack with the clever drops. A little bit of indecision, but still managing to get the shuttle over the net. starting to unravel now for the Malaysians. The Dutch going for a hat trick of victories over the Ing sisters. Yeah, Selena knew that one dropped in. No arguments with the line judge. See it on the replay. Oh, right in the corner. Superb. A little bit lazy on the drop shot from Selena, and certainly I can see it. She's just switched off slightly. Good play from the Malaysian sisters. This time, a clear again just from Earn. A little long. Oh, shuttle skipping off the net court. Oh! 
Great play, and it takes the Dutch to match point. 20, match point, 9. Nothing to lose shot that time from Aaron. defense from Lynn. The Dutch just neutralizing the rally and building up again. Oh! And it's out and it's a title and a third hat trick of victories for the Dutch over the Malaysians. And really well deserved a class pair this week here in Dublin. 21-10 victory in the second, 17 in the first. And a, and a pair of victories for Selena Peake, the outstanding player this week here at the Irish Internationals. Next match on court will be the men's doubles final. Netherlands, Jaco Ahrens and Jelle Mass against Premisal Vaca and Adam Swalina. Girls, uh, many congratulations, and uh, this is becoming a bit of a habit, Selena. Uh, getting to finals and beating the sisters in from Malaysia is, is something you've done now for the third time in succession. Uh, what are your emotions right now? I really have. I think it's the best habit to have. And um, we played it really well. Um, I think this is, we've grown enormously in our level. Um, it shows all we for a great shape, and beating them in two sets, and it's such a relief. I think I couldn't take another more set. <laughs> yes, as everybody knows in the hall here, this is Selena's second victory uh, after winning the mixed doubles. I do know the Dutch are rushing to get back to uh, Amsterdam for some celebrations later on the flight coming up very soon. But if you, you know, this is another sweet victory for you. This partnership has really developed really well and uh, gone from nowhere in the world rankings. So I think next week we'll certainly probably be inside the world's top 20, top 60. What is next for you, you as a pair? Next week we go to Italy also, no, that's, that's our last week and then, uh, and then we have a week off and we will certainly need it. So, um, yeah, and what Selena just said, we play against the sisters and we always need to be prepared and yeah, two sets, I think we will work with two sets because she just played, so we're really happy with that. Yeah, but then Selena, when you, when you think about it, you know, you're, after playing that mixed doubles, nice and warm and ready and focused because sometimes a lack of focus can get in your way. Is, it, is that fair to say? Yeah, it's fair to say. I tend to have a bit of a focus problem, um, but I got my break and I just wanted to dress it more. I got my time for myself and um, yeah, I just, we were both really focused and I didn't feel tired at all because of the win. It's always nice to start with a win, so that was also my luck. Okay, girls, many thanks for joining us. I know you're going to be heading out back to Schiphol Airport with a Although there might be delay, there are some serious delays out there around Europe, so you might have time to enjoy Guinness at Dublin Airport. With that, thanks for your time and very well done. Thanks, yeah, so we have the levels. We have our runners up here. We give them a big round of applause, please. For you and that Ning and you evening from Malaysia to give our medals today to present them. Richard Vaughan, as always, and Minister for Transport and Tourism and Sport, Mr. Leo Varadka.
the winners, ladies and gentlemen, for the winners of the world's uh, Crowns of the Irish Open 2013, big round of applause by Effie Muskins and Selena Peck.